In this video, I want to talk about how we meter in a double acting cylinder on retraction only. So let's get started looking at the diagram here. So when I activate the system or when I start the simulation, oil will flow up through here. It cannot get through the bypass check valve. So it is forced through the needle valve and the needle valve's job is to meter the hydraulic oil that comes through. It will come through here, retract the cylinder but all the oil on the other side will restrict back down, okay, when it's put, when I'm in its initial position. When I activate it to extend it, oil will flow up through here, extending the cylinder out. All the oil that is located on the piston rod side will flow through the bypass check valve. This will allow the cylinder to extend at its normal rate, but when it goes to retract, all the oil will be metered as it flows in. I've added a couple flow control valves here so we can see the difference in gallons per minute when we simulate this circuit. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'll activate this uh, lever here, all right? And you'll be able to see that the cylinder will extend out at a pretty rapid pace. Okay, at this pace, it's running at roughly at 30 gallons per minute when it was extending out, all right? Now, when I go to retract the cylinder, Let's watch how the oil flows. It cannot get through the bypass check valve, so it is forced to go through the needle valve, extending much slower. I have it set to about five gallons per minute before it extends all the way down. Now, let's watch that one more time. It extends out quickly because the oil can bypass the check valve on extension, but on retraction, all the oil leaving here is going right back to tank, but all the oil going into the cylinder is being metered. So let's talk about this for a little bit. So in this circuit, there's a couple of things that you need to be aware of. One, we can right away know this is a meter in circuit because the arrow of the check valve is pointing towards the cylinder. That's just a little visual trick you can use to know if it's meter in or meter out. Okay, so this one's being metered in because the arrow is pointing towards there, all right? The other thing is, I know that this is going to only meter the oil as it goes into the circuit on, re on retraction because this B port on the cylinder is only an input when the cylinder is retracting, okay? When the cylinder is extending, this is an output. So it, we don't use the word meter out when it comes to this circuit because we're not metering any of the oil as it leaves the cylinder. We're only metering the circuit as it goes in. And the, and the only time we're metering it in is when it is retracting because the other time this is an output, okay? Now, this is just a quick little overview of metering in on retraction only. For a more detailed video and lecture with lab examples of how meter in and meter out works when you control a double acting cylinder, check out the link below where I will link to a YouTube video that I made a while ago that describes all of this in greater detail. But I wanted to give a video on just the specific meter in on retraction only and explain how that works. I will also have five other videos showing you all six of the different types of metering circuits you can have that include this one. All right. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you so much.